hello guys welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to solve this simple math problem now this is a new series we've started okay and then we try to pick some math problems and then we solve them at the end of the video we have a similar question you may like to try your hands on so if you like the content of this video do well to subscribe and click on the post notification bell so that whenever we upload the content or any problem you'll be part of those who'll be notified so that you can watch and learn as well so we have a question 425 base 6 equals 320 base x and we are to evaluate 123 base x minus 34 base x so this is a wasi question wasi 2012 and we are supposed to evaluate 1, 2, 3 base x minus 34 base x. Now to solve this problem, we basically need to find the value of x. And then we can substitute x into this expression so that we can find or we can evaluate this expression. So basically we are going to multiply each value by the base or by the variable. Okay, so we have 4 times 6 plus 2 times 6 plus 5 times 6 now for 3 to 0 we have 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 0 times x so now let's introduce exponents now to introduce exponents we are going to start from the right to the left so considering 4 to 5 we are going to start from the right side now the exponents are introduced on the base okay so we are going to start from 0 from the right so we have 0 1 and 2 and then for 320 base x we have 0 1 and 2 so now let's simplify now 6 squared is 6 times 6 which is 36 and then we have 2 times 6 now any number raised to the power 0 is 1 so we have 5 times 1 that is equal to we have 3x squared we have 2x and then we have x exponent is 0 which is 1 now 1 times 0 is 0 okay so now moving on to the next step we are going to multiply 4 by 36 now 4 times 36 is equal to 144 and then we have 2 times 6 which is 12 and then we have 5 times 1 which is 5 and that is equal to 3x squared plus 2x Now let's simplify this. 144 plus 12 plus 5 is equal to 161. So let's transpose 161 to the right hand side. So that's going to be 3x squared plus 2x minus 161 is equal to 0. Now we need to factorize. So first of all, we are going to multiply the coefficient of the x squared term, which is 3, by the coefficient of the constant, which is negative 161. So, 3 times negative 161 is negative 483. So now we need to find two numbers that when you multiply, we are going to get negative 483. But when you add them up, we are going to get plus 2. So we are going to start with now factors of negative 483 we have negative 1 and then 483 we have negative 3 and then 161 we have negative 7 and then 69 and then we have negative 21 and then 23 so we are going to use these two numbers okay so we are going to have 3x squared minus 21x plus 23x minus 161 
equals zero. Now let's group like terms. So the LCM between 3x squared and the negative 21x is 3x. Okay. Now 3x squared divided by 3x is x. And then 21x divided by 3x is 7. Now the LCM between two between 23x and the negative 161 is 23. So when you did this one correctly, then you are just going to write, or you are basically going to write the same thing here. So now we have 3x plus 23 and then x minus 7 equals 0. So that's going to be 3x equals negative 23. We divide both sides of the equation by 3. And then we have x to be equal to negative 23 over 3 and then for x minus 7 we have x to be equal to 7 now because x cannot be a negative value then we are going to focus on x is equal to 7 so 4 2 5 base 6 is equal to 3 2 0 base 7 Four two five base six is equal to three two zero base seven. Now we are supposed to evaluate one two three base x minus thirty four base x. So that is what we are going to do. So one two three base x minus thirty four base x is equal to one two three base seven minus. 34 base 7. So we can as well represent this in this form. Now we have 3 minus 4. Now 4 is greater than 3. So we need to borrow from the 2. Okay. Now whatever we borrow here is 7. Okay. Normally if you work in base 10, whatever you borrow is 10. However, because we are working in base 7, whatever we borrow is 7. So when we borrow 7, from these two is going to be 7 plus 3 which is 10 and then 10 minus 4 is 6 so we have 6 now it's left with 1 here okay now 1 is lesser than 3 or 1 is less than 3 so we are going to borrow 7 from this one now 7 plus 1 is 8 so we have 8 minus 3 which is what 5 so 1, 2, 3, base 7, minus 34, base 7, is equal to 56, base 7. So now let's look at the question for the day.